Max East! So, how about we get this out of the way first? Yesterday was a certain Let's Player special day. And today is also the birthday of Malmix, right in the second row right there. Your birthday, your birthday's on Sunday. You're not exempt from this. Yes, it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you all do me a favor at PAX East and sing these three lovely people happy birthday? Oh. Welcome, one and all, to the Runaway Guys Throne Controllers, a popular game show we like to think, but we're not quite sure. Hopefully it is. I am your host and MC, Proton John, and as always, I am joined by... Shugga Conroy? And the master of the force himself. I'm Luke Skywalker. Thanks for coming from space. Really appreciate it. Yeah. All right, who here has seen this panel before? Uh, that is a lot of people. Oh. All right, so there's not too many of you that haven't, so let's make this fast. We gave out 600 cards today. We are going to be pulling random members from that 600. You'll be coming up to play Throne Controllers. You'll walk up to the microphone right in front of the stage, and you're going to pick a panel that's going to make you do either some video game trivia or video game challenges. You could play a game by yourself against the audience or against one of us. Also, this year at MAGFest, we added two new categories. So I'm curious to see how many times those will come up this time around. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's true. All right. So before we take off, of course, if you come up and play, each panel you get right, you get what? Uh, well, that's not quite the right wording, though. But just for coming up, you get, if I could direct your attention over to Andrew Soros and Family Jewels. <laughs> Prize tiers provided by. Oh. Use the working microphone. Yes. I thought I was on the right one, but I was actually on the wrong one. Okay. Anyway, multiple prize tiers provided by Fan Gamer just for coming up and participating. You get a button set. Man, you guys get excited for that. Wait till you see what else is coming up. We got, for one win, a keychain. Two wins, it starts getting pretty legit. You can get a poster. They got the orientation right eventually. Uh, at three wins, you get a voucher from any shirt of your choosing from the Fan Gamer store in the main hall. Four wins, you can get a pipe mug, which are no longer available for sale. This is the only place you can still get them. Ooh. Rarities. And we have a new price tier. We just started this year at five wins. Luggage. What? Wow! Luggage? I was not aware of this. And, of course, to the top winner in every show, we have an extra special prize that we're going to be giving you. I could show you the whole thing, but I'm only going to show you one part of it. A brand new Nintendo Switch. <laughs> now, I just want to say, this is the part that we are showing you at the beginning, not the surprise at the end. So you best get up here and win. <laughs> All right. I have, I have no idea I don't even what, know the what the other part is. is, so good luck. <laughs> All right, let's call us up some numbers. The first four contestants of tonight are cards number 36, card hey. 343, <laughs> number 348, a lot of threes, and 432. Come on down! You are the first contestant on Throne Controllers tonight. Hello. How's it going? Uh, good. Perfect. What's your name? Uh, Vincent. Vincent. Have you seen the show before? Yes. All right. Vincent, you get the first board. You get the first pick. Start us off on a good note. Pick a number. Seven. 
Number seven is going to be Screenshot. I'm going to show you a picture of a video game. Tell me what game this is from. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. The name is not Success. <laughs> <laughs> Just take any guess at all. It's going to be a little tricky if you've never seen this before. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I'll give you one hint. Fortnite. It's based off a movie. That's the only hint I can give you. I don't know. <laughs> Name how, a movie. How John Gets Women. <laughs> oh! This is going to go really well. All right, good night, everybody. <laughs> this is Die Hard Arcade. All right, unfortunately you didn't win, but come on up and grab your prize though. You still get something. Well, this is a good note to start on, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, sweetheart. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Next up we have... Uh, Nicholas. Nicholas, how's it going, dude? Going all right. If you need to adjust uh, the you mic, You can move the right mic up ahead. if you want. What? Don't, you can move the mic up if you oh, want. Perfect. There you go. It's probably a bit more comfortable. Yeah, just get up. There you go. All right, you got the mic in your hand. You're ready to play, then. Pick a number. Uh, lucky number six. Lucky number six. Might not be lucky today. Oh, God. Here's how this works. This is the TRG Video Game Challenge. You pick one of the three of us to play a game against. It might be a single-player challenge, but more than likely, you'll be playing against us. You have Chugga Conroy, Luke Skywalker, and myself. <laughs> okay, um... You. Me? I have to admit, I've never seen your show before. I'm only here because my friend has. So that's fair. This, that's Filthy just a... casual. Well, this is this is better than telling me how Welcome we meet women. Welcome to the addiction. So I'll tell you, you're doing good so far. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask you something. Did you ever play a game that got remade recently called Wild Guns? I have not. Okay, so you're gonna come up here. We're gonna play the first stage of Wild Guns and see who scores the most. Uh oh. All right. Come on up. Should I just leave the? Yeah, come up on stage. All right. Well, it may not be her birthday for another three weeks, but I would like to thank Masay and Ella for setting up these video game challenges, keeping everything running smoothly. Yeah. Right, so not played this before, She's played awesome and great. All right, so there's also one more catch on this one to make it hard for me, because I played this game really recently on stream. Uh, this is the PAL version of the game, which runs like 30% faster. <laughs> so this is going to be really hard for both of us. Clint or Annie? Uh, John is play John. Are you player one? I screwed up. I screwed up. Uh oh. I fixed the player. Hang on. Oh. I'll do it. Yay! I broke my own show. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. Here we go. You know what? You want you want a chance to practice? Take it as a chance to practice. No. No. Shoot. Shoot. And deep pad. Deep pad to move. Uh, this is your free practice you, round man. because I screwed up. All right, so you got a you got a game over in about seven seconds, so that yeah. that bodes well. Uh, any percent speed run. Ready? <laughs> Grab your controller. Is that the right one? No, there we go. No. I'm player one. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll be playing as Annie, and he will be playing as. You can pick either one. Take your pick. Which one do you like? Press start when you like. Who you find? What you like? There we go. He's playing as Clint. All right, whoever clears the first stage or whoever survives the longest, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Starting off, John, oh, pretty, oh. Both men shot. got a starting lead right here. We got 1,600 points on the board. He's shooting a little covered wagon, gets out of the way. Ooh. Just pounding on that thing, sets it ablaze. His head explode. Why there is a giant metallic tank in the Old West, I will never know, but this game is cool, so I don't care. We got 7,000 to 3,000. Pretty commanding lead to start off with. 40 Into seconds the on the clock. Digits, all. Oh, boy. And there, oh, I don't know why rest 10,000 point lead going on. Being efficient with that cursor, moving from one target to the next. Got only 15 seconds left, 14. I don't know, it's going to be pretty oh, steep geez. to come back from. Holy crap. 
boss time. For boss time. And that's it. That's it. 23,000 wow. to 7,000. Thanks for playing. Going on for the prize, though. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Uh, there's no stairs. You're going to go in the long way. Look out. And they're no! both dead. <laughs> and then everyone Ah, died. the perfect resolution. <laughs> That's going to happen a lot. Get ready for that as well. All right. Next up, we have... Brandon. Brandon, how you doing, dude? Brandon. Doing pretty good. All right, are you ready for this? Yes, I am. All right, pick a number. When the screen shows up, there we go. Number four. Number four this time around is, who the heck is that? I'm gonna give you a description and silhouette of a character. Tell me who it is. This master rapper may not be as popular as her octoling bandmate, but she never forgets to say their famous catchphrase, don't get cooked, stay off the hook. Uh -oh. No help from the audience. Uh -oh. Parappa the Rapper? Parappa the Rapper <laughs> is incorrect. Shit. Oh, no. Although that would be an amazing crossover. It is Pearl from Splatoon 2. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, man. Go up and get your prize. Grab your prize. Grab your prize. 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 We want to give you people awesome stuff. You just never let us. I say that every show. <laughs> All right. And the last set of our first set of contestants we have. I'm John. John, how's it going? Oh. Good name, by the way. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Are you ready? Um, ready as I'll ever be. All right. Well, just don't pick a brutal question. You'll be doing great. Pick a number. Um, let's do seven. Seven is, oh boy, an audience video game oh, challenge. Yeah. Oh man, this game. I'm guaranteeing no one in the audience has played this game. And that's going to be the best part about it. You're about to play a fighting game called Survival Arts. This is a mo capped game like Pit Fighter. So it's good. <laughs> We are going to pick an audience member for you to play against. And if you win, you get to stay and keep going. But if they win, they hop in the line and become the next contestant. Okay. Come on up. All right. Your opponent is going to be a card holder. Number 399. I'm sorry to deflate everyone who had their hands raised. 399. One shot at 400. And while they're getting that set up, I would like to give a big thank you to the tech people that are making this work on Twitch, to the enforcers who will keep the panel Twitch, going. Twitch, what's up, thank Twitch? You. Could not do this without the pack staff. All right, getting ready. This game, this is a game. Oh. This game is so good. I, I played this last night to test the show. I couldn't beat the first fight, so I couldn't make it an audience. I had to make it an audience challenge, otherwise we couldn't play it. All right, what's There's your name? There's something he can't Rebecca. do. This Rebecca. Game had a graphic All right. Designer. Now, have you, for some weird reason, played survival arts? No. Good. Perfect. All right. Here are the buttons. Mash all of these and these, and that hope for the best. So, all these? Yeah, triggers and the four face buttons. Cool. What I always here. Do. Let me let me put some coins in the old Xbox here. All right, push start. Starts right there. Pick your characters. What the heck? Oh, I think you might have accidentally picked Mongo. What is going Mongo. on here? Oh, oh, sorry, push start. You're not in yet. All right, pick your characters. Is that Ross Perot? These characters are amazing, by the way. Mongo is the best if you want a pro tip. Santana versus Hannah. Fight! What is he groping? Santana. Uh, realistic uh, moves! He's perfect fighting moves, action! That is. Uh, a, a fart? Uh, pelvic thrust? Breakdancing, oh, break dancing. first kick. point goes to our contestant. Have you played this game before? Have you actually? Yes. I don't believe you. What? Yes, oh. I have. You've actually played this before? Yes, I have. What are the odds? All right, well, there we go. Battle of the Masters. Whoa. Yeah, he's actually doing <laughs> He knows the combos. <laughs> we got some Evo level strats. I, uh... Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, one more hit might do it. Not there quite. it is, the crunch! Oh, what? The, the world's most powerful crunch. That? John, congratulations, going back down. Rebecca, I'm sorry, but since you played, you do get a prize. Go on over and grab one. So, you, you beat them up by being kicked in the crotch. 
That's that's my favorite character in the game. All right, for good reason. Yo, Mongo's the best because when he lo when he wins, he just fires a gun in midair and starts screaming. It's great. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, looks like you are the first one on the board. Yep. So so far, you're in the lead and the first person with a point. Keep going though. Let's do. Let's do four. Number four. Oh. Multiple choice question. In The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, which of these is not a wearable mask? Oh the Majora's Mask itself, the Mask of Truth, the Mask of Sense, or Don Garrow's Mask? Was it Mask of Sense? Mask of Sense is incorrect. The Majora's Mask you never wear. Yep. I haven't played the game in a while. That's fair. It was now, a however, trick you are in the lead, so you do get a better prize, and I want you to hang up around here for a bit. We got a chair over there for you. Okay. And as long as no one beats you, you're currently the winner. Emil, call up some more contestants, please. All right. First number all night that doesn't have a three in it, number 226. Come on down. Ooh. And we're also going to call 533 and number 77. Seven. Double lucky. And we got our first taker right here. Execute. Is that a PAX Pokemon League seven. scarf I see? Yes. And we got another one. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to order in operations here. How's it going? Good yourself. Not too Closer bad. Closer to the mic, please. Hmm? Closer to the mic, please. What's your name? You can move the mic too if it's too high. Uh, Brendan. Brendan, are you ready? Yeah. Pick a number. Go with nine. Number nine today is, wow, okay. Ooh. Holy crap. All right, well, we've already seen this category, so you know the options. Chugga Conroy, Luke Skywalker, and myself. Take your pick. Who do you want to play against? Chugga. Had a feeling. I don't know what you, neither of you changed your challenges, I'd like to point out. I asked, so I had yeah, to shuffle right. them around a bit, yeah. but you're playing Rayman Legends right now against Emil. Score three goals first in one-on-one -on -one Kung Fu. Come on up. Other side. All right, Emil, I'm gonna need you to set this one up for us. So I'll take the gamepad? Have you, have you played Rayman Legends at all before? Okay, you have not played this before. Uh, I'm pretty much gonna give you the same advice I gave to the fighting game players, just kind of mash buttons and hope for the best. Okay. This should be jump and this should be punch. You're gonna need to jump or kick the ball into the opponent's goal. So you'll be playing one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Emil will get you set up. Press start on the controller when you're ready to hop in. You can use either the screen or the one right there, which is the one you can see yeah. better. Go. All right, so you're playing as the Teen C. Emil is playing as the Rayman. Just hop on one of the rings on the blue side, and you guys will get started. First to three goals. Yeah, you got to stay on it. All right, here we go. Go! Oh, yeah. You can slap each other to make sure the ball does not go in your goal, but remember, you just got to kick it in there. Emil goes for the first point, and he fails. Oh, oh. Oh. That's one. Brandon in the lane. Minute and a half left on the oh, clock here. Oh, oh. oh it's oh, almost oh, in there. No, oh. nice save from Emil. Not so fast. Emil goes for the second one. He sets it up. Oh. Goal. One, one tie. 127 left on the clock right now. Contessa goes for the ball. It's in the middle right now. Emil goes for the nice kick. It's going to go in. That's a goal. 2 1 for Emil right now. Contestant needs it. Ooh, lucky bounce. No, that's a goal. Chugga Conroy is the winner. Thank you so much for playing, but go on down and grab your prize. The winner is you. And from all the way from the PAX Pokemon League, your name yeah. is? My name is Chris. Chris. Yeah. Chris, you've been here a couple of times. I mean, not playing, but I know you've been, I've seen you at the con a couple of times, right? The, the what? Have I seen you at the con before, is what I'm asking. Yeah, uh, 2015, last year. I was going to say, because yeah. I, I recognize you. All right. Oh, well, congratulations on getting to play now. Are you yeah, ready? Yeah. I'm so ready. All right, dude. Please don't be the first brutal, because I don't want to feel bad. <laughs> Let's go with number five. Number five is... Five. Okay, here we go. Uh -oh. So, now, we had a discussion about this at MAGFest, and at the suggestion of Lucagen, we and actually me. changed how Choose Your Destiny works. 
instead of getting every single category as an option except for easy, you actually only get five choices that are randomized. But easy is now an option on the board. However, if you do get a Brutal Question or TRG Challenge as an option, it's still worth two points. So your destiny this time around is as follows. Multiple choice question, brutal question, audio question, where we play you a song from a game, you have to figure out what game it's from. The lightning round, where I ask you five multiple choice questions, you have to get three correct. And last but not least, pick your poison, which is one of our new categories, where I give you three game choices and you pick who you play against. Can you, can you run through this one more time? All right, okay. multiple choice question, brutal question, audio question, the lightning round, pick your poison. Don't give in to peer pressure. Go what you think's best. Uh, you know what? Let's go pick your poison. Pick your poison! He's going for it. I don't want to do it. All right. I'm going to give you three games to choose from and a little blurb saying what the challenges are. You pick what challenge you want, and then you pick who you play against. One of the Sounds three good. of us or an audience member. Sounds good. Your three choices for pick your poison are Magical Drop 3, one-on-one -on -one puzzle battle. Super Mario Brothers 3, Battle Mode, best two out of three. And Contra 3, survive longer than the other player, and I swear to God that was not done on purpose. Let's go with Super Mario Brothers 3. Mario Brothers 3! Now who are you playing against? One of the three of us or an audience member? Audience member will be picked randomly by Emil. Okay. Who do you want? I'd love to play against Chugga. Okay. All right. <laughs> Come on up, you're gonna play the All-Stars version of Mario 3 with the superior battle mode. All right, now here's the question to both of you. Have either of you played this mode before? Not battle mode, but I've played the game. Not battle mode before, but I've played the game. <laughs> this is gonna go great. <laughs> All right, so battle mode in All Star specifically is actually very different and kind of cool. It's a best of nine, actually, match. It's where it gets to five points first. But you can also grab mushrooms to double your power level, but it's still a race to whoever gets five coins first by killing enemies. It basically plays like the original Mario Brothers arcade game. Go down to battle mode, please. And someone left the game. Thank you. Oh, thank you for also doing that on our completely legitimate version of this game. All right, Emilio, we'll be playing as Mario. Our contestant is Luigi. First to three wins. Kick an enemy when they're flipped over to get a coin to make, or at least make it spawn from the pipe. First to five coins wins a round, or first to survive, because you can actually kill the other player. You're both big Mario right now, except Luigi is strong, so now you need to be extra careful. Ooh, Don't, oh, oh. Wow. First point to Emil. Continue. Round two. Be very careful. Oh, you got a blue boy. Uh oh, that happened. Be careful, dude. There are mushrooms. Grab that mushroom. You need that mushroom right now. Oh, Emil gets it instead. Oh, that's trolly Mario. Oh, Emil's ready to mess with you. He's ready to mess with you. Be careful. Yeah. There's another power switch left. Don't touch that crab. You touch the crab. Emil is the winner. I'm sorry, man. Go on down and grab your prize, though. Ooh, that was awesome. Uh, you gotta go down the other way. Oh, safely. I'd rather you not jump off the stage. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Jeremy. Jeremy, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right. No one's found a Brutal yet, and the high score is currently one point by John, so I think you can beat it. We'll see. All right. Pick your number. Uh, let's do number one. Number one! <laughs> oh, wow. It's like all day long. All right. Well, I don't need to explain this one. Chugga Conroy, Nintendo Capri Sun, Proton John. Who do you want to play? Let's do Nintendo Capri Sun. He hasn't played oh. yet. All right. Is the force in your favor today because you will be playing Tetris Attack. Oh! 
the wow you just uttered walking on stage does not give me confidence. <laughs> this is a death Fine. sentence. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, how about we call up two more numbers? Two? Yeah, yeah? let's do that. Sound good? All right. I'm going to give him a let's second. Let's call up 100 more than Celebi, number 351. 351. And number 213. 13 managed to be lucky today. 213. 213. 213. Oh, you got him. There we go. All right, so now have you played this game before? No. Ooh, we got, got it all. Logger. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. All right, who's player one and yeah. player two on this? All right, our team is player one, our contestant is player two. It's up to you if you want to give yourself a handicap or not, Tim. That's your call entirely. You're going to play it even? Play it even. All right. Oops, wrong button. Sorry. It's it's not quite the button it says on screen. Case in point. Case in point. There you go. Yep. Pick your characters. All right, Tim is player one. Tim has picked Yoshi, unsurprisingly. Tim is Yoshi. And nope, no blur. We got Froggy. Froggy? <laughs> All right. Uh, these buttons will flip the panels. So you need to get three or four in a I want row. skills to the best. Uh, I don't know. All right. You need to get, if you've never seen Tetris attack before, you need to get three in a row to clear a piece. If you clear four or five in a row, you will send garbage blocks to the other side, which you will see momentarily on Tim's screen. Tim going for it. Tim is not a man of mercy. Whoa, here it comes. If you clear, if you clear a, like a more. match while touching those blocks, they will disappear and turn into other blocks for you to make matches with. And you better do that very fast. That's first round. That's it. All right. Oh, sorry. That was the warm up. Here's the real deal. Tim raises the stack, trying to get a full combo right off the bat. No connection no, on that one. It up. Not for long. Though. No, no junk. Oh, no junk on either side yet. Our contestant's still getting There's used two. to the game. Three. Oh, this is not Four. going to be pretty. All right, that's not too bad. Tim dropped the combo halfway through, but he's still got a sizable lead right now. Remember, connecting a three in a row match that's touching will actually start clearing away those garbage blocks. First attack on Tim's side. A nice times two combo, and he breaks it up. Ooh. This song is nice. Yeah, I'm thinking it's, it's cool. very deceptively nice. All right, clears out the garbage block Four. again. Oh, Nothing hanging out of it though. Hanging on yet still. Remember, this is their first time playing the game. They're doing all right, honestly. Yeah. Ooh. Going up. There it is. Well, I mean, Combo all, good. No, it's all right. Move. Try to line up three in a row with the something Things about are the fall. Yeah, like oh, that. That's perfect. Yeah, that's a good move. Back in there. Not bad. Not bad. The oh, my goodness. You got to clear stuff. You got to clear stuff. You're about to die. Go, oh. go, go, go. Nice try, dude. That, that, was, a, that was a hell of an attempt. Yeah. Nice try. Wow. Excellent job. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. All right, next contestant. We have a vlogger who got the illustrious Stephen George to film his vlog. Yes, I have. I've actually done a lot of things for Stephen George, too. I'm usually that guy that you see that Stephen acknowledges for the meetups, which, by the way, it, with Stephen's permission, I'm planning, if you guys are going to be there, I'm going to bring my drone. And I do have FAA authorization for this, so we can get a nice drone shot of everyone. So keep that in mind. That is a really long name, by the way. <laughs> Just call me Patrick for short. Okay, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you no ready to? You know, honestly, I really do hope that I get a brutal challenge. All right, pick a number then. It's on there. <laughs> All right, number three. Number three? Oh, man. So many games. Well, this is a game you've probably played. Yes, I do. Super oh. Mario Kart Battle Mode. Emil, pick us an audience member. Pat, come on up. That's a, all right. Well, the one who is going to be challenging you is the holder of card number 162. Number 162. Come on down. You beat him, one, you get two, to be a contestant. Two. And they're coming right up. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can take your pick. Honestly, they're all about the same feed. There's, there's like maybe 2,200 milliseconds away. It's not too terrible. You can use it real fast. And you've obviously played it before, right? Of course. I was going to say, you played this even now? Of course. Yeah. All right. All right, we know Patrick's played. Who do we have from the audience? Oh, uh, Cody. Cody, have you played the original Mario Kart before? Ooh, have you played any Mario Kart before? All right, it's pretty much the same. It's not that different at all. Pick your characters. You can either look off this screen or that one down there. Take your pick. Uh, you should, your player. Oh, you gotta use the D-pad. So B is A and A is B. Our contestant is Toad, and our challenger is Luigi. All right, press the selection button twice, locking your characters. Again. Patrick has picked Toad, Cody, right? Okay, Cody has picked Luigi. You're gonna be going to Luigi, Battle Course. Uh, let's go four. Luigi, Luigi. Battle Course four. <laughs> lots of pockets, lots of blocking for red shells, but if you're not careful, it might end poorly. <laughs> and they're kind of off. Uh, they're so, nope, nope, that's, uh, that's not how that works. Everybody's done that before. Oh, I think it was him. At nope, least one. nope, it was you. All right. There you Riveting go. battle. This, this is item. They had to give each other a hug yeah, for good sportsmanship first. All right, got our first items. We got a green shell and a banana. First, we just got a I haven't run into each other yet. Ah. Uh oh, banana peel. We're moving along. We got a mushroom. Oh, oh, oh boy, we, got we got something. We got something nice. We got something nice. If they could even run into each other. Oh, 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 oh we got oh, something. Oh, oh. he's in really hot hard. pursuit. Oh, oh, oh. He is in hot pursuit. Get him. Show that plumber who's boss. No. Got a home and a red shell going on. Uh, here comes. Oh, no. Oh, blocks. Oh. Still has the red shell. Goes for the chase. I know. It yeah, looks like you can just so drive bad. over that paint on the road, but you can't yeah. do that. Uh, oh, got a boo. The red oh, shell has been the stolen. Patrick has it right now, chasing down Luigi. Now Toad is in the captain's seat. Uh-oh. In Will case they ever this does find not actually go to a proper kill, I have started a timer. You have two minutes to find a victor. Otherwise, the person with the least balloons is the loser. What if they don't find each other before then? If they don't find each other then, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Professionalism. Please, for the love of God, hit someone. <laughs> and he steals nothing with the boo, but turns invisible no less. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, that's really hardcore paint. You can't drive over that, it'll wreck your tires. Yep. I would like you welcome to the, you to the last time we do a Mario Kart challenge. Ooh. At least it's not Mario, the original Mario Kart 8's battle mode. Ah. Oh, we got a red oh, shell and two red, red shells. Red shell. Something's got to happen here. Something nice. And it's a miss by Patrick. Oh. Could it be a uh, uh, steal? Not anymore! Stealing it! Stealing it! All right, give that launch. Here comes. Here comes. Misses the shot! Oh, whips it. Uh oh. Another red, Another red shell coming. The door's invisible, though. Well, oh, not anymore. Oh, no. There's a the green. Could the green you overcome? guys have 30 seconds left. Ah, watch it could come down to this next hit. Be very careful. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, no! It's a miss! This is getting down to the wire stuff. Not the mushroom won't do anything. Oh, 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 oh I'm laying in the fire! Oh. Wow, Red Shell's suck in this game. Here he is. Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's time! That's time! I don't wow. believe it! The green shell you fired off halfway through the match won it for you! Patrick, you got a point. Go on up. Cody, grab a prize for playing.
All right, brutal question time. Bagel alerts time. All right, you're currently tied for first place, Patrick. So it comes down to this. You're either sitting on the stage with John or by yourself. Pick another number. Let's pick number siete. Seven. Seven? Seven? Okay. I'm Yo, I'm speak. from Canada. I speak French. <laughs> I don't speak Canadian. Oh, my God. Oh. Yep. Well, we've all been picked so far. So really, pick whoever you want. Oh, man. Pick the game. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's give John some love. You're gonna regret it. You sure that's it. a good idea? You're right. It might take too long. Let's do Tim. What? Wait a minute. Wait. See, Three. he's learning. Tim was the choice. You will now be playing Dr. Mario. No, not Dr. Mario. Well, I don't know. I'm not as good at this. You what? I'm not as good at this as my Tetris. You know what? Neither See, am I. See, I just didn't want to play any more okay, games. Then. We both equally suck at this game, FYI. This is not going to go how you think it is. What today has taught me is that Bostonians really hate trivia games. All right, gentlemen, you'll be setting your game to speed high virus level five. Five and high. Unless it's a complete blowout at the beginning, we're going to do two Chill. matches. That's, oh, and we're oh. backwards again. I think that was my fault. All right. The it's always start on these games, guys. Yeah. All right, you're good to go. All right, so get start. There we go. Okay. Tim is player one. Patrick is player two. All right, coming down to the oh, bottle, we got... Oh, I don't know if he meant okay, to do I was, that. I was looking at the wrong side of the screen, my bad. Yeah, Tim was looking at the wrong side of the screen. Tim is actually in a little bit of trouble right now. This gives Patrick yep. an advantage. Yeah. Why did go, oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, we're brain farting. Uh, brain farting hardcore little... today. There we go. We got some action there. We're rough here. Yeah, I know. Can't be building these farts. No! Oh. And then there that is. Oh. Uh -oh. Oh. Patrick! Patrick! Oh. No, stop doing oh, that! Stop that clicking! That wasn't me this time. That wasn't me. Actually, it's not him this time. It was Tim. Oh. No! It was. No! All right, we're going to do a redo on that. That yeah, was unfair. That was, Get ready. You yeah. You know what side you're on, right? Press start. Yeah. Okay, press start. 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 Retry. Okay, here we go. Remember, Tim is on the left, Patrick is on the right. Both players actually realize what sides they're on this time and are doing sort of better. Why did I do that? Oh, no. Gets that red down there. And there's two viruses. Tim got some good momentum 18 viruses going. left on Tim's, 22 left on Patrick's. Make that, tw no, still 22. Both players not dropping any garbage blocks, but doing some nice moves, honestly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Patrick, Double you're not looking good triple here. Triple Patrick, you're not looking good here. Uh, not quite a quadruple-o, but very close. There's a oh, quadruple-o. There's what? a double-o. There's a sextile-o. Wow! Oh, man. You got blessed by RNG uh, on that no, one, no. but not oh. anymore. Impressive effort. Patrick, no you are currently tied for first place in the match. Hang up here with John. All right. Tim, congrats on the win. Let's get uh, the next contestant ready. We are rocking these TRG challenges today. Wow, these TRG challenges are nuts. Uh. Your name is? Hang on, I goofed. Oh, oh. It finally happened. Oh, thanks, Steven. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. Here, I'm gonna give you a spoiler for what my challenge is. Oh. Spoiler alert. Well, no one's picking that one. Let's try that again. Hi, what's your name? Will. Will, all right. Well, How Will, I just screwed do? up majorly on my panel, so this gives you a good opportunity. Usually when that happens, good things happen. Pick a number. Eight. Eight! Who the heck is that? All right, this one's a little trickier. His real name is Needles Kane, but everyone just calls him something else, which apparently is just the name of his ice cream truck that he drives on the front cover of most games in his famous car combat game series. Huh. Who is this? No help from the audience. I'm not sure. You're not sure? No. Can you think of a famous car combat series? Uh, I, I couldn't think of one that he would be from. You can't think of anything right now? No, no character guess at all? Mario. <laughs> Car all right. I'm going to take that as a loss. No. Twisted Metal is the series. Sweet Tooth is the character. Uh, grab your grab prize. prize. <laughs> Emil, get us some more contestants. He didn't have the will and determination. Uh, all right. We're going to call up number 469. 
do it for 69. And we're going to call up the grossest person in the room, number 144. Nice. What? I get it. 144 is a gross. Oh. Yep. That was a gross pun. I'm good at math. I hate you. <laughs> All right, we got our two contestants coming up here. I mean, a lot of people hate math nerds, let's be real. I know, from experience. All right, who's going first? All right, you hey, what's go your name? first. Mac? Matt. All right, we have a two-way tie with only one point apiece, so it's real easy to get on the stage right now. Pick a number. Six. Six! Six. Wow, all right. Okay, oh no. So dialogue, I'm gonna play you uh, a conversation from a cutscene in a game. You need to tell me what game it is. I, this is actually kind of hard, so I'll be impressed if you get this. Get ready. Who the hell are you? Your worst nightmare. <laughs> Except in the daytime when you are not asleep. Oh yeah. Well, you better. What? Your life will now end. Prepare to begin your death. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually the job I want in the future is just to be a bad Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonator. <laughs> um, Terminator? Ter good guess, but wrong. Um, I mean, does anyone in the audience actually know what game this is? I see four hands. Eat Lead, The Return of Matt Hazard. It was a parody game of video games in general, which actually predicted Splatoon. So, what? yeah, they, literally, there is a description where they talk about a third person water battle based water gun game, which is literally just Splatoon. They called it Soak'em. But unfortunately, you lost. Grab your prize, Matt. Sorry. That one was a little rough. I apologize. Hey. Hey. Name's Craig. You can move that if you want, by the Craig. way. Oh, thanks. Cool. Craig, Craig. C R A I G. Craig, are you ready? Time. Thank you. I'll know how to spell it in editing. Craig, you ready? Yes. Pick a number. Uh, I'm gonna go with three. Three. Another dialogue. Hey. Right. I will also apologize to Matt because this one is considerably easier than the Matt Hazard one. Ouch. <coughs> Get ready. <gasps> oh my God! It's a nerd. That's right, the nerdiest nerd in the computer verse. <laughs> Dad, that's Will Wright, designer of Sim City and the Sims. Don't forget my biggest flop, Sim Sandwich. Its failure drove me mad. Mad! <clears throat> that's it. I know that's a Simpsons game, but... All right, what's the name of the game? <sighs> I do need the exact name of the game. I want to say it's the Simpsons... Skateboarding game? You're gonna call it, you, your answer is The Simpsons Skateboarding? I think so, I'm not sure. All right, well, you're gonna feel bad because it's literally just called The Simpsons Game. Oh! Sorry, man, grab your prize, though. Uh, More contestants, all right. Was... We're gonna call up one of the last people to get a ticket, number 530, or 583. Thank God I didn't get all the way through that or else I would have really disappointed somebody. <laughs> and then let's go with Wow, 597, one of the especially last people in. <laughs> Man. 583, 597. All right, here we come. What are we clapping for? I don't, I'm happy though. <laughs> so happy. Wow, wow, dude. Hey, how's it going? Good. Chase. Trace, all Chase. right, we're just gonna Chase. get right. Chase. Trace, are you ready for this? Chase. Chase? Yes. Sorry. I don't know why I heard Trace. Chase, pick a number. Uh, six. Six. No. Okay, the lightning round. I thought you had picked a brutal for a second there. Lightning round, I'm going to give you five multiple choice questions. You need to get three correct. And I'm also going to test you right now on how well you know Castlevania. So I'm going to ask you, Belmont or not, is the main character of this game part of the Belmont family? I'm not counting secret characters. You give me a yes or no answer, or say Belmont or not. Are you ready? Yeah. I guess I'll ask this too. How well do you know Castlevania games? All right, you might be okay. Remember, you need three correct. Starting now, your first one is the original game. Is it uh, Belmont or not? Uh, yes. Yes, Simon Belmont. Second game, Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Belmont or not? Not. Not is correct, it's Nathan Graves. Game number three, Portrait of Ruin. Belmont or not? Yes. No, Jonathan Morris and Charlotte Olin. Game number four, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Simon, or Belmont or not? No. 
Correct, Soma Cruz. Last but not least, Castlevania Bloodlines. Ignore that. Cast you, just, you want to answer the last one? Too late, I already answered it for you. <laughs> you won anyways, you got a point, you're on the board. You are currently tied for first place in a three-way tie. Please get another point. Four. Four. Oh. oh, boy. This might not go well for you. This is the leap of faith. Here's how this works. You're actually going to pick someone to play a game for you, and if they win or lose, dictates if you get a point. Now, if you have anyone with you you know is good at games, I recommend you pick them right now. Otherwise, we will pick for you. Yeah, I am. You have someone to play for you. Yeah, Matt. Matt, come on up. Here it comes. Uh, he's shaking his head. He does not look impressed. Oh, no. Matt, the good news is if you win this challenge, you also get to be a contestant. The bad news is you got picked before I told you what game it was. Come on up to the mic. Hi. Hey, Matt. Uh, how well do you know Sanrio World Smash Ball? <laughs> All right, I'm missing. <laughs> Don't worry, this one's not too bad. You just need to clear the first challenge stage. It's not too hard, and it's very easy. Come on up. Okay. Yep, What's gonna down. happen? You're right. So many video game challenges today. Yeah, unreal. Tournament. All right, as All always. Right. So, uh, since most human beings have not played this game, <laughs> You have four characters to choose from. Uh, the first character is balanced, the second one is fast, the third one is good for defense, the fourth one is for strength. So shot power. Have you ever played wind jammers? This is basically like wind jammers. Here. Yeah, it's, it's a Japanese game, sorry. Who do you want to play as? Balance, speed, balance? Okay, Kero, Kero P is the winner. You're gonna do the first stage. This is the swing to the left of your body, swing to the right of your body. Holding one down without moving will charge your super shot, which is this button. You'll probably be okay with just your side swings, though. All right, press start. No, it's not start, my bad. All right. So you need to hit that puck and hit the, ba the walls up oh, there to try to break oh the ones behind uh, your other player there. Behind villager. Your walls can only take one hit each, same as theirs. You cannot cross the X's. You can move up and down. Watch out, he, used, he missed, the AI misses the power shot. Two holes in the wall there. This is first to three, by the way, over. It takes too long, we'll just move it to whoever is, has the most time after two. Some lucky bounces going on right now in your favor. Ooh, almost. Close, that's gonna do it, first point. All right, keep going. Yo, I'm gonna make this first to two at this rate. <laughs> I told you the AI is not gonna try too hard on this one. Yo, if you can get one more point, man, I'll just call it in your favor. Oh! oh. I think you pissed him off. Ah. There we go. Good job, Matt. Matt, hop Someone's in the line. In the You're good to go. We got someone in the lead. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you so much, but you've been beaten. Head on back down to your seats. <laughs> Yeah, grab your prizes if you didn't grab them already, by the way. All right, Chase, you are in the lead currently. Eight. Eight. <laughs> How many classic Mario Party minigames are there in Mario Party the top 100? <laughs> Is this a trick question? You decide. 100? Hey, guess what? It's not a trick question. <laughs> Three points, you're still in it. Two. Number two. Oh, interesting. New category. Here's how this works. You found the devil's deal. You may not want to take this based on where you are right now, but maybe you want to crush the competition. Big points, bigger risks. All panels in the game from here on out are worth double points. There are no more easier multiple choice questions, which doesn't matter because you found the easy on your board anyways. However, every panel has a chance of being a brutal question instead. The odds go higher, the higher your score is. Remember, 
You are currently in the lead. Let's do it. You're gonna do it? No! You are you taking it? He's taking it. He's going for it. opinions. All right. Here's how this works. Right now, you have a 30% chance of the panel you pick being a brutal question. And it will go up 20% for every correct panel from here on out. Pick a number. Wait, is that three? Five. Yes, it is. So uh oh Wait, what? Oh my god. This feels familiar. <laughs> Matt, the sequel. Can we do, you know what, you the can Matt actually Nagy. do that. You're fine if you want to play. You want to do it again? All right, Matt, this time. This is highly unusual. I, that's never happened before. This is, this is new. Matt, this time around, you're playing Turtles in Time. Yeah. You have to clear the time trial. Big Apple, 3 a.m. Have you ever played the time trial? Uh, nope. All right, that's what I thought. Most people haven't. All right, have you at least played Turtles in Time before, Matt? Yeah. All right, so this is good news for you. The pressure's totally off for you because like, even if you fail, you still get to play. Yeah. <laughs> you can pick any turtle you want, by the way. Uh, so so the, actually, the real question is here. Chase may have actually made a bad decision because he could totally sabotage you and it would be perfectly fine. Now here's the question. Does your friend want to screw you over, basically? Did you go, did you go to uh, time trial? I thought ahead. The turtles in time. Turtles. The only time I thought ahead this panel, apparently. All right. Big Apple, 3 a.m. It says three minutes is the best time. You're going to be doing it a lot faster than that, I hope. Pick any turtle you want. A jump attack. Both together will do a super move. Johnny! You have to clear five rooms of enemies, 30 seconds per each room. If time runs out or you die, that's it. Hey, Johnny, wheel of fortune, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Gee, okay. All right, you're cutting this a little close here now. Yo, these guys must be studying the abridged book of Ninja Fire. 10 seconds, one guy left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Remember, if time runs out, back. you're out. All right? Hey, no. Room three, we might have to call this challenge a little early because we're running low on time. We have two more contestants yet. So I'm just going to call it, if you beat this challenge, then we're going to call this a clear. Wow, he's flying. I hope they can say go back. All right, you're going to call it clear, Matt. Good job. Nice. All right, all right. Good news, bad news, good news. Chase, you have five points on the board right now. Bad news, we've given the low time warning. You don't get any more game challenges from here on out. Same with you two as well. So it's only trivia from here on out. Pick wisely. Remember, 50% chance of it being a brutal question from here on out. Nine. Nine? There it is. And there it is. First one. Oh, thank God. I was sorry I would just one tonight. First brutal question of the night, right at the end of the panel. The Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series lets you pick a Pokemon to be your protagonist for the main game. How many Pokemon can you start as in the beginning of Explorers of Sky, the fifth game in the series? I will give you a range of three. If you are three away from the correct answer, I will give you the point. Four. Not even close. The answer is 19. Wow. However, you are very much in the lead, so grab, come on up. All right, we need to do this quickly, please. Yeah. We have been warning we gotta do this a little fast, so no game challenges for the rest of the panel. What's your name? Cameron. 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 Sorry, we're gonna have to go a little fast. Cam, pick a number. Uh, eight. Eight. Can't no. do it. Nope. So the, oh, which I really wanted smash, to do it, because we smashed car. that car. Damn. Oh, All right, so here's the catch. 
Uh, the higher, the more low times you have to pick, the higher you have a chance of getting a brutal. So you're you got hard mode right now. I apologize. Okay, four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. It was meant to be, y'all. I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. You're probably getting a brutal on your next pick. Pick a number. Six. No. All right. Screenshot. Name the game this screenshot's from. I have literally no idea. I, I'm not surprised because I couldn't figure it out either. Emil sent me this one. You want to guess at all? No. Overwatch. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is Assassin's Creed Origins. <laughs> because of course it is. Sorry, go on up and grab your prize though. All right, Matt. Matt, last contestant. <laughs> Matt, you may have given your friend the win on this one. You don't get any game challenges anymore. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kick it off. Pick a number. Uh, three. <laughs> I hate everything I right that. now. <laughs> Keep going. Eight. There it is. Crush it. Come on, Matt. One of the most popular pack-in games for Windows was Minesweeper, a simple but addicting puzzle game. What were the first and last versions of Windows to include the game for free without having to download it? No help from the audience. I hear a lot of Windows coming from the audience right now. Windows 3.1 to Windows Millennium. 3.1 to what? Millennium. M-E. M-E? Yep. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a chance to change one of your answers, because one is correct and one isn't. But I'm not going to tell you which is which. Ooh. I'll change me to XP. You at least knew the one to change, but you were wrong, because it was Windows 7. <laughs> Going up and grab your prize, though. <laughs> All right. And that means our winner is Chase. As promised, Chase. This is yours. But that's not all. No. We have three more things for you. All right, before we get to the rest of the prizes, we will be doing a meet and greet in room 209 right after if you want to see hi to us and get us to sign stuff. But go back to where we're going. Okay. We are giving you Breath of the Wild Explorers Edition. The special edition of Fire Emblem Warriors. And last and certainly not least, the special edition of Xenoblade Chronicles 2! Three special editions and a brand new Nintendo Switch! Thank you everyone for coming, Shine for Don't Controller, see you all!